When I first found out that I was going to East Carolina University, it was a sense of relief and stress knowing that I finally was able to pick a college that I truly wanted to go to. It's also a sense of relief to know that I'll be the first in my family to go and attend a college and university. It took a lot of focusing, determination with your grades, making sure you stay on top of things, time management, prioritizing, especially if you're a person like me when you work two jobs and you also play sports. I would say the best advice to the upcoming class would be to get like a calendar book so you can write all your stuff down to keep stuff in order so you don't forget anything. At Aberdeen Elementary, I remember my third grade teacher, Mr. Salman, who helped me a lot with math and multiplication, which really helped me out a lot because I feel like if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have finished math early as I did in high school, which helped me really a lot in math and it got me able to take math early and finish. So Ms. Richards, I had her in biology my junior year and she pushed me because I didn't see that I could really do good in science as she saw me. So she pushed me out of regular biology into biology honors and then she pushed me to take chemistry also. So she really helped me see more in myself than I saw. So in her junior year, I placed her in my honors biology class in which she excelled tremendously, became a role model for her peers. In addition, she has tutored for me since then and motivated many students, giving them homework. Uh, and they respect her so much that they actually do do that and are successful in ESC. And then Ms. Hayes, I've had her this year currently as English for Honors, and she's very down to earth and realistic and relatable, and I love that about her. She's exceptional because she is somebody who sets high standards for herself, exceeds my expectations, but sets high standards for herself, is well-rounded, truly a moral, ethical young lady, the kind of student you want every student to be. Throughout my high school experience, ninth grade, freshman year, I was a little bit shy to participate in anything, but I did have a love for basketball, which I've been playing since I was nine. So I tried out for the basketball team and I made that. And then I also played basketball my first year, freshman year. And then my sophomore year, I played basketball and I tried out for volleyball and I made the team for that. Then I continued and started doing track and field, which I gained love for that. Then my junior year, I joined FBLA, and I also did basketball, track and field for that. My senior year, I did basketball, track and field. I became the public affairs officer for FBLA, and I'm still a member of the National Honor Society. Well, I've been going to Boys and Girls Hope for a very long time, since I was eight years old. And for the local Boys and Girls Clubs, I decided to run for Youth of the Year, and I ended up winning that. So now in 2019, Boys and Girls Club Youth of the Year. Boys and Girls School has done a lot for me throughout the past years of my life, and it has taught me a lot of things. Well, if I had to rephrase it, I would rephrase it as engage, succeed, and inspire, because to me, engaging means engaging in your goals, engaging in your grades, engaging in all the hard work it's going to take to get to your future and your goals. Then I would say succeeding because after, once you've done engaging, you have finally succeeded and you've got your degree, you can finally start your career. Then I would say inspire would be the last one because then you can inspire other people to keep going. You can inspire them to keep trying. You can inspire children and kids that you can do anything regardless of what happens. Your past doesn't determine your future. finished up kindergarten at Pinehurst Elementary and continued to go there until second grade. And then I moved to Southern Pines Elementary and went there from third to fifth grade. And then I went to Southern Middle School um, from six to eight and then Pinecrest for freshman to senior. When I graduate from Pinecrest, I want to continue working until September. And in September, I will join the Army um, and go into the Warrant Officer Flight Program, which is where you can fly helicopters without going into college. Um, my first grade teacher, Ms. Hall, 
She was my first favorite teacher. She was awesome. Um, she let us read a lot, and that I like to read, so that was cool. Um, she was really enthusiastic, and she would really connect you. In my sophomore year, my civics and economics teacher, Mr. Curtin, he was one of my favorite teachers. He was uh, also enthusiastic. He knew the subject that he was teaching really well, and he also had experience doing a lot of other things. We could ask him, and he'd be really upfront with you and uh, honest, and that was cool. Uh, Riley's an incredible, incredible person. He's extremely driven uh, academically, uh, as well as physically. He was on the cross country, he was on the track team. Um, I haven't seen a more driven person than Riley to the extent that he wants everyone around him to be just as uh, knowledgeable as he is. So he's, he sort of diffuses his drive for academic excellence and it just makes the classroom environment wonderful. Love having Riley in class and, and he gets incredible grades too. So it's, it's a testament to who he is as a person and what he wants to accomplish in his life. I ran cross country and track. I. I'm a big part of my youth group at church. We'll go out and like clean somebody's yard or help out with events and helped out with Special Olympics all four years I was here. That was fun. Being able to interact with people uh, all over the community, I really enjoy helping people and seeing people smile. I set out three goals for myself for life. I don't want to work a nine to five job. I wanted to travel and I didn't want to do the same thing every day. And so I knew I liked to fly and so I tried to figure out routes that I did and didn't really want to go to college, have the grades for it. I wanted to rather do it instead of learn about it. So I finally, uh, I found the Army program where you could fly helicopters without having to go to college. And so I finally narrowed that down and looked to see how I could get into that and what I had to do to become competitive in it. My family has been supportive through the whole thing, um, through everything that I wanted to do. I'd bounce ideas off of them and they would, I'd ask them, what do you see me as doing? Because other people see things in you that you may not see. My grandfather, he was amazing. Everybody knew him. He was a hard worker. He was a very successful businessman. And so I'd ask him, you know, Papa, what do you think about this? And so he, he was a huge um, mentor and role model in my life, too, so I looked up to him. I wouldn't panic about it. Take classes you enjoy. Do things you enjoy. Try and figure out, you know, what your place is and where it's going to be. And then, you know, do something you want to do. Don't, don't fall into something you don't want to do. Engage, um, for me, it means to you know, focus in on what you want to do. Inspire, you inspire people whether you realize it or not, and they'll tell you sometimes. They'll say, you know, hey, you, you, know, you made a difference right there. And you have to look for inspiration for your own self, whether you know, it's a cool video or a movie. You, know, you, you watch Rocky and afterwards you want to be a boxer. You know, so you, you try and find motivational things for yourself, and from there you just push on and you continue to try and be in that mindset. You know, I think succeeding for your own self is figuring out what you want to do and if you, once you achieve that goal, even if it's in baby steps, it's still success. I started off elementary school at Weston Elementary and then I got moved to West Pine when it opened before my fourth grade year. And then middle school, I went to West Pine Middle and now I'm here at Pinecrest. My grandma was actually in the hospital from a stroke and she had been getting better, but then all of a sudden she started going downhill and ended up passing away. And it's because we figured out she wasn't being well taken care of in the hospital. And so I decided at that point that I wanted to be a doctor because I wanted to be the change and I wanted to make sure that people got good health care and were well taken care of. I'll be attending uh, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I plan to major in biology or neuroscience with pre-med med intent. So Chapel Hill was actually the first college that I got accepted to and it was actually on my mom's birthday and my parents were super excited. As soon as we got to dinner, um, they told all my family members and it, they all started hugging me. I'm sure everyone at the restaurant was like, oh my gosh, what in the world? <laughs> Going to Moore County Schools was such a privilege. All the teachers here are super supportive. They're basically like family. 
Like kindergarten teacher Mr. Landau was always really supportive of me. I actually go to church with him occasionally and he'll always ask me how school is going, how I'm doing. Right now, Ms. Peterson is my English teacher and I basically call her my school mom because she does so much for me. Like, um, I was a, I'm actually a first generation college student, so I really didn't know what was happening during the application process and she helped me a lot throughout that and just gave me a lot of advice and made sure that I wasn't freaking out all the time <laughs> with all the stress of school and college. So she was really helpful. And just, I guess, all the teachers just um, in elementary and middle school just really shaped me to be who I am and prepared me to get to where I am today. When I have needed help with the community project, I simply mention it to Larcy. And within 48 hours, she has people signed up on the Sign Up Genius with um, Honor Society. She truly has lived her role as the president of the Honor Society. I admire her that she's always willing to face a challenge and take that on. I think she'll do extremely well at Carolina. She wants to pursue a medical career. I would love to have her be my doctor someday. That would be awesome. I really can't tell you enough good things about Larcy Britt. I think she's an extraordinary student and more importantly, an extraordinary person. Emily gets started on your applications early because I waited until the last minute and it was not fun. Um, just stay involved. Try to take advantage of every opportunity Pinecrest has to offer because you need it. Very hard to get into college now. <laughs> it's very competitive. If you haven't already developed good relationships with your teachers, you need to start like talking to them because you definitely need good recommendations. While I was at Pinecrest, I played softball all four years and volleyball my freshman and sophomore year. And aside from athletics, I was involved in the National Honor Society. I was actually president this year. Um, I was secretary of Interact Club and um, outside of Pinecrest, I participated in First Health's team volunteer program. Um, I was a volunteer for a more humane society and I actually volunteered at Weston in Ms. Cirillo's kindergarten class. Engaged, inspire, succeed um, basically means to me just to find a passion in everything that you do and let that shine through to others.